You've been wondering how to explode your growth on Instagram Reels, or maybe you've been wondering just how to create Instagram Reels altogether. I'm gonna break everything down, several different methods that I use to create massive success on Instagram Reels. And just to prove with a little bit of receipts, check out these stats. We've got lots of views coming in with even our Reels reaching millions of views. It's pretty wild. I'm gonna break everything down for you as soon as we cue that intro. So head on into the comments and let me know what is your Instagram handle and have you tried Reels yet? Do you feel lost? What are you hoping to learn in this free tutorial? Let's cue the intro and get this episode going. Hey guys, my name is Rachel Peterson. I'm a social media strategist. At the time of recording this, I have 119,000 followers on Instagram. And after having an account that was basically dead from following all of the experts' advice on Instagram for years, Instagram Reels has become a huge part of our strategy for growth. So I'm gonna break some of these things down for you guys today, including two different ways that you can create Instagram Reels for massive growth. Now, just to showcase one more time the success that we've had and what is possible on Instagram, check this out. I just put this one up a couple minutes ago. I guarantee you it's gonna go viral, reaching hundreds of thousands or even millions of people. We've got 20,000 views, 25,000, 27,000, 36,000, 28,000, 21,000, 1.7 million, and seven, uh, six figures, sorry, five figures worth of engagements. There's a lot of growth that is possible with IG Reels, but let's go ahead and break it on down. So there are two different ways to create content and I'm gonna walk you guys through every single step and make sure you stay until the end because you do not wanna miss any steps, otherwise you may not have success on Instagram Reels, plus I'm gonna give you guys some awesome resources to support you with building on IG Reels. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna share with you is creating content inside of the Instagram Reels app. Now, I'm gonna be honest and I'll give you guys kind of my thoughts about it. I personally think that the IG Reels platform is a little bit difficult to use. Um, that's my personal experience from using it. Uh, in just a moment, I'm going to share with you guys an easier way to create Instagram Reels consistently. We push out two to three Instagram Reels per day. And what's cool is over the last three months, we've grown by 20,000 followers on Instagram without paying for shout outs, loops, giveaways, or ads for growth. So the very first thing that you're going to do is you can access Reels one of two ways either by going to the little uh, plus sign and you'll see the option for real come up as the second at the bottom or it may be in a different place on your Instagram account and you could click that to create a reel or you can go to the reels at the very bottom of the screen there it's gonna show you the reels feed from there you're gonna select the little camera button in the right hand uh, top corner and this is where you can create a reel. I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of this, but remember, in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys an easier way to create reels, especially because reels is basically short form video that is Instagram's answer to TikTok. They're trying to create short form video content that goes viral to really pull some of the audience that is interested in TikTok onto IG Reels, which means that since it's a copycat platform, they don't have their own culture. So you can learn a lot easier from TikTok, which we'll get to in just a minute. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is decide whether you want it to be a maximum of 15 seconds or a maximum of 30 seconds. Now, some people have an option here that allows them to go up to 60. I don't have that available, so I'm gonna go up to 30 seconds here. You have the ability to choose from sounds that are able to be used easily on IG Reels. You have the ability to record in different speeds. I only recommend that if you're already familiar with what that means. You can add effects, including filters. You can touch up your photo. I don't really mess around with that. And then of course there's a countdown timer so that you can set your phone up, walk away and get a full body shot without the, the awkward moment of like walking away really fast from the camera, just like on TikTok. So let's pretend that this is an IG reel right here, right now. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how to use IG reels to grow on Instagram. So this could be an IG Reel, and we're just gonna pretend that it is. Now I'm not actually gonna post it because this isn't what I would do for an IG Reel. But if I wanted to, I could add some background music by clicking this sound button here, and then add some music in. 
Of course, I could have used one of the sounds to create a dance or a video of me pointing to different text, and we actually could do that. So let's pretend like I'm going to point to text. There, 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 awesome. Then we're gonna hit the forward arrow, and that's the equivalent of saying like, okay, TikTok, I'm almost ready to publish this. So let's go ahead and, rather, sorry, not TikTok, IG Reels. Here you can add in stickers, which is kind of nice to add kind of the Instagram feel. You can add in some text. You can add in drawings, so I could like give myself a mustache if I wanted to, but I don't really know why I'd want to do that, but you can use that to like block out images or portions of a video, which is kind of nice. But let's focus on the text for a moment here. So I'm gonna add in text, and there's a lot of different options for text. So let's just say we're gonna name this like text one, and then we're gonna add more. We're gonna add text two, okay? And I'm moving these around on the screen just by dragging them to a different spot of the screen. And text three. You'll see that those three options came up at the bottom of the screen. And I like to create kind of in this region of the video because I've seen on different phone models, it can cut off your content on the top or on the bottom. So try to keep it like in the middle portion of the screen mostly, okay? So that's kind of my general rule of thumb. Now, if you wanna change up the colors of the text, you're gonna pick different colors. You can bold it, which is kind of fun. I like those. I like those on IG Reels. I think they're awesome. You can also have text that disappears if you have this functionality available. Now, not everyone has that available, so we won't use that. I'm just gonna make each of these bold and different colors and text three. There we go. Now here's where you adjust the timing of text. So this is how you can create multiple text that appears, disappears, shows up on cue. Okay, so you ready for it? We're gonna click on text one, text two, text three at the bottom of our screen, okay? Text one, by dragging the two ends of this, it's gonna determine how long your text stays on the screen. So for example, if I wanted the text to appear when I point to it, we're gonna to go to the end of this video. Oh, it's not letting me. Well, that's a little bit annoying. There we go. So it looks like I made it happen too fast because they're making it be a minimum. Oh no, there it is. So we got one two and let's go to text three there we go it was just being glitchy and text three so if we watch this video over again check this out as i point to each of the pieces of text they show up and of course i can make them disappear too by dragging the other end of that so we're going to go ahead and hit done and share two now this is where you're gonna write a caption. It can be short form, it can be a long form caption. I like to ask questions, ask for feedback, ask people to comment below or tag a friend. And as interesting as it sounds, so we're gonna go ahead and just use some dummy text, interesting caption with a question or a call to action. This is where you're going to add in 30 hashtags right in a row. You can add some spaces if you want, but for IG Reels, your hashtags go at the end of your caption. Now, I personally like to use um, one of two options. I personally like flick.tech for getting really niche down hashtags for massive growth, or I also know some amazing people who have hashtag strategies, including someone named Joey Engelman. Um, Mary Pendleton also has great hashtag strategies. I think sometimes it can be worthwhile to hire someone to give you niche down hashtag sets based on research. But let's go ahead and pretend that I already created my hashtag list. We're gonna insert our 30 hashtags. I, you can put them all in a row, you can put them in a straight line, whatever you wanna do. So pretend that there is 30 hashtags. You want to use all 30 hashtags. And if your hashtags aren't getting you any results, you probably haven't niched down your hashtags enough. I like to use hashtags with, generally speaking, less than a million uses. Um, in fact, some of my best 
success on Reels has come from using hashtags with less than 100,000 uses. Now, this is really important. You have to make sure to share it to your feed. Yes, it's gonna disrupt a pretty grid, but it is worth it because this is what makes it go from having like a 24 hour shelf life to being able to be discovered for days, weeks, months, and time will tell, but possibly even for years. And then you're gonna hit share, got it? That is how you create a reel the hard way. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through the easy way, and this is gonna be really helpful, especially for anyone who is already creating TikTok content. Now, what is interesting is Instagram has said that they're not going to promote TikToks that are, or rather content that is added to IG Reels if it's recorded in TikToks or in a camera outside of the IG Reels uh, platform. But I'm gonna show you guys something interesting. Ready for it? TikTok, 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 TikTok. In fact, I don't think any of these are not TikToks. I've only created one or two reels inside of the reels platform. And that's, I think this one I edited. Uh, and then there was one more that I created, but I actually don't think it took off. Like it only got, oh no, that one's still TikTok. I only created one inside of the actual reels app and I got barely any results. And I'll be honest with you guys, it was so underwhelming that I was like, I think I'll just go the easy route and create a lot more content. And it doesn't seem that Instagram has a problem with promoting uh, content that was created in TikTok if you follow this one rule, and that is removing the watermark that says TikTok on it. So let's say, for example, I wanted to share this TikTok right here to my IG Reels. It's a very positive one because it's all about um, the decision I made to become sober. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this video. Okay, it's almost saved. That is one way that you can use it if you use um, apps that require you to upload the TikTok to strip it of the watermark. I actually use an app, I don't know if it's available on Android, but it's available on iPhone for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link of this TikTok instead of saving it and then uploading it. So I'm gonna copy the link and that app is called Save Talk. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Save Talk. I'm gonna click Save TikTok because I've already copied the TikTok's link from the TikTok app. And in just a moment, it shows up ready to be saved. Beautiful. It'll be saved in just a minute. It looks like we did it. So you can see that it shows up right here with no watermark. That means that it's ready to go. Now there is one issue with sharing your uh, TikToks without the watermark on IG Reels, and that is that a lot of the sounds are not found in the IG Reels catalog, especially from small creators. So I always like to take a second and find out who uploaded it. So for example, this person here uploaded that sound. Now I'll be honest, it's not her sound, so I may be able to actually just find the sound in the IG Reels library, or if I just wanna really cover all of my bases, I could tag both her and Pitbull to give credit for her uploading the sound originally, and to Pitbull and Neo for creating that sound originally because this is not even an edited or remixed version. Then once again, I'm gonna go into IG Reels, select the camera button, now here's where I'm gonna do something different. Instead of filming here, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video without the watermark, hit add, and we are ready to go. I could add in some text, I could add in whatever I want. I do like to credit the people who the sound is from in the caption just to do the best I can to cover all my bases. Though I will say that is one downfall with IG Reels. They need to catalog small creator sounds a lot more rapidly and have a sound recognition system for more than just um, people with major record labels. Um, we need to support independent artists as well. Here I'm gonna add in my really clever caption that's talking about my sobriety journey. And then I'm gonna add in my 30 hashtags that are of course niche down. These would not be the hashtags that I use, but these are really good examples of hashtags that you might use. And then we're gonna click share. 
Now that process has been amazing because simply by creating TikToks consistently, I am creating the content that I can remove the watermark from and upload to IG Reels, Snapchat, Triller, YouTube Shorts, all of the above and even IG stories. So just keep that in mind. Now I promised you guys that I would give you an amazing resource that will help you to get started. We created 300 ideas that you can use for TikTok. You can also use them for IG Reels, or of course you can record them as TikToks, strip them of the watermark, and add them onto IG Reels. Check out the link beneath this video in the bio for 300 plus ideas for IG Reels and or TikToks. If you've enjoyed this video, comment below. Let me know what questions you have. Uh, what did you find the most helpful? Are you gonna try this? How is it working for you? And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the tutorials coming. I'll catch you guys later.